eyes on one man. A hat-trick in his last game. Will he prosper once more? We'll have the action on EA TV. Well, most of the fans in attendance here have had to bring their umbrellas and wear their raincoats. It's a soggy day for this match. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's AFC Richmond versus Nottingham Forest. Well, thanks, Derek. These fans will be fairly pleased with their team's start to this campaign. They've shown plenty of quality going forward. They've looked well organised, and I think they have a decent team spirit. Mind you, we'll find out more after today. Hi, my hi. And here's how AFC Richmond will line up. Well, it's the basic 4-4-2 formation, but played well, it can be really effective. And key to its success are the wide midfield players. They have to be fit, they need to be able to run with the ball, and they need to double up with their fullback. It's a really tough role for them. And here's how Nottingham Forest will line up. Well, it's a defensive lineup, that's for sure. But their wing backs and at least one of their midfield players will need to break forward when they regain possession, just to give them a threat going forward. Contest begins. Arlo Dixon. Sam Obisanya. Danny Rojas. Being egged on by the crowd. Well, Ooh, you can sense the fans the really wanted him to shoot, and he didn't need a second invitation. Well, it was the right option, but he should be hitting the target there. That was a decent opening for him. In with a chance. And there it is, the opening goal, the ideal way to start. That's a goal. Just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. It's an easy goal in the end, but well taken. So underway again here. One nil the score. And he's made headway. And another one. Two quick goals. Will it turn out to be the two-punch knockout? Well, as you can see, he beats the defender so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. So, 2-0 now. Well, the attack looks promising, but they dealt with the threat first. Oh my, hi, 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 hi. Now, options are plenty. Now, a good tackle. I'm just being told there's been a goal at Villa Park, so let's send it over to Alex Scott. It's a goal for Spurs. They're the first on the score sheet here with 15 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. And brave goalkeeping to deal with the danger. Well, he had to get that right, didn't he? That's good goalkeeping. Moving forward effectively. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. What a big chance. That's a shocker.
But it didn't. That was keeper has the ball. <coughs> Good work to regain possession. Rojas. Ah, I'm gonna sit down up by here. A reminder, tickets for the next game are available for sale. He's lost it. Jesse Lingard. Jones. Tart. This looks more than decent. Well, credit to him for trying it. Didn't miss by much. How can they make something happen? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, there you can see it. The hosts haven't been able to control possession. Now, hold on, Stuart. They're in here. And that's the hat-trick! Tearing apart this defence time and again. They simply can't handle him. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it as hard as possible. Oh, what a good goal. Well, this is threatening to get out of hand. Just look at the scoreline. Oh, what an opportunity. Denied by the bar. Back Ooh, in play here. Too bad. Right over for now, it seems. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. Okay. It was such a good effort. Okay. And he might be through here. A smart stop here. Another short corner here. Takes the shot. A goal! Ooh. And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power, but just look at the follow through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. A lopsided contest, 4 0. Two minutes of stoppage time coming up. And he's in. And with that, the first half draws to a close.
Galis. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. And he takes it on. And that's sound goalkeeping. Ooh. It's a short one. Superb block. It should be. Well, you have to categorize that as a missed opportunity. Well, there's been a lot of speculation as regards this transfer and whether it would go ahead. It's finally been confirmed, Stuart. Yes, it's an exciting move for him, and hopefully we'll now see the best of him. But he'll need to settle in quickly to win over the fans. The move suits everybody, I think. And a goal update to bring you in the Palace game. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal from Manchester City. The score's level again now at 1-1 with 53 minutes played. No messing around this half, Derek. Thanks for the update, Alex. Oh, good work to deny the opportunity. And a short corner, let's see. And cuts inside. And sadly, quite a bit off target in the end. Well, those stats tell you everything. They're opening up the opposition at will. And while we've seen some really poor defending, their attacking play has been excellent. Oh, in with a chance. A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. I'm inside you. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper exactly. no chance. The ball rolling again in what has been an utterly one-sided match. Abonigi. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Well, let's send it over to Alex Scott, shall we? Because, Alex, there's been a change to the scoreline in the Villa game. It's a third goal for Spurs. They're ahead by three now with 64 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. The referee knew that was foul play, but advantage it is. Well, the fact of the matter is sometimes there is no advantage, and that was the view of the referee. Well, he must proceed with great care. Could easily have been cautioned. Good-looking sequence. And let's give credit to the defending. Into the final 20 minutes. And in with a real chance. Can they put it away? Able to clear the danger, at least for now. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. Effective challenge. Opportunity it is. On his own, with only the keeper to beat. But he's missed it, Stuart. Well, he went for power, but he didn't make the perfect connection. That's why he's missed the target there. Well, just a quick reminder, more live football coming your way here on EA TV. I think you might enjoy this game. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. And the short option preferred. Now sliding in field, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Intense pressure. Lingard. 
Martin. And he's taken it away. Oh, good looking run. Oh, burying them beneath an avalanche of goals. No let up here. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break out from their defensive positions, but I think the defending is poor. How can the goalkeeper be left so exposed with two players running at him? Mind you, it's still a great team goal. And keeping it out. Well, they've decided to make a change, but he's gone short with it. Hadji. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, the action is going to continue for a while yet. We will have four minutes of stoppage time. Jesse Lingard. And he takes on the shot. The keeper was never likely to be in trouble then. And there the goes the final whistle. And the home fans are going to be happy about this outcome. Well, I've been impressed with their start to the season. And today, I thought they played some really effective football. They will certainly be hard to beat over the coming weeks. Home fans are going to be happy.